Today, we will be discussing Narcissistic Personality Disorder. To start off, what exactly is Narcissistic Personality Disorder, aka NPD? NPD often gets confused with self-love, but there's more to that. Narcissistic Personality Disorder idolizes themselves and the impression of image they think they are. They are often in love with their self-image and they use self-obsession as a way to avoid and build a wall up from their deep interpersonal issues and their insecurities. People who have NPD has dysfunctional patterns and impulsive attitudes and behavior. Those individuals come off as self-centered and have lack of sympathy and empathy for the people involved in their lives. They crave ad admiration, validation, and consideration from everyone. Because of their attitudes, they become manipulative, cocky, and selfish. They patronize all of their relationships and come off as demanding to things that they want. People with narcissistic personality disorder are very against changing their behavior, mainly because of how oblivious they are towards people. They constantly will cause problems and never hold themselves responsible for their consequences. They are not able to take criticism, disagreements, and personal attacks. They are very sensitive and can explode to certain situations. Now let's go over the signs of NPD. The main ones are the unrealistic sense of superiority, living in delusion and their own fantasy, the needs of constant praise and admiration, entitlement, and exploiting others. To go into details of unrealistic sense of superiority, the individuals believe to be more special than everyone else around them. They often want to be associated with high status people and people who benefit them. They believe to be better than everyone else without reason, which is why they often exaggerate the simplest things such as talents, achievements, and goals. They are known to lie a lot and can often be known as pathological liars. No way we can get rid of him? Not without cause, Michael. I have cause. It is because I hate him. The second stage I'm going to be talking about is delusion and living in their own fantasy. They often fantasize their reality into making them a star and have a never-ending story of being powerful and in control. Their behavior becomes dysfunctional because they live in a delusion, so when anyone tries to challenge their views on their life, they become defensive and aggressive. They are often in denial of their behavior and reality itself. The third stage is constant praise and admiration. Individuals with NPD need to be in the spotlight 24-7. They need to constantly have validation from others and they need the constant compliments, attention, and affirmation. They need to be fed these things in order for them to feel themselves. Majority of the relationships are one-sided and they often use individuals in their lives as stepping stones to get what and where they want in their lives. They treat people in their lives as admirers and often betray them when they try to turn table. The fourth sign is entitlement. Narcissists have a sense of entitlement because of their delusional fantasy of being special. Like I said earlier, if you don't fit their needs and do what they say, you are completely useless to them and they will treat you however they want. Think of it as a puppet master manipulating their puppets. The last sign is exploiting others. You tend to exploit anyone in their lives and are unable to sympathize so they don't feel guilty or shame upon the things they say or do to others. They lack the development of relationships and feelings towards everyone but themselves. They are known to bully and attack others and tend to blackmail individuals. People with NPD tend to play victim and like to gaslight everyone. They will cry and turn tables on you to manipulate you into thinking you're crazy and that everything is your fault. The perfect example of a narcissist is Donald Trump. Donald Trump has been analyzed by many psychologists where they have said that his behavior mimics narcissism or any similar type of personality disorder. Donald Trump has shown to have superior approach and displays false power to fool people to vote for him. He also tends to tell people what they want to hear, which is a tactic that narcissists use to gain trust and manipulate the audience or their victim. Donald Trump has been called out several times for his behavior, such as his habit of lying, as to where he responds with a defensive and aggressive way each time. He seems to have entitlement and lacks empathy for people. A perfect example of that was when he talked about the buildings of 9-11 and cared more about the buildings than the 2,752 lives that were gone. Another quick example would be Ted Bundy. Pretty self-explanatory with this serial killer. He has no remorse at all for his victims, and he had constantly manipulated women into falling for him just for him to unalive them. A quick fact would be that all psychopaths are narcissists, but not all narcissists are psychopaths. The way your parents parent is also the root to narcissism. When you have authoritarian parents, also known as helicopter parents, 
You are unable to express yourself and live to please them and their demands. You are on a leash and only get praised by their standards such as good grades. They are often controlling and possessive, which encourages the behavior of narcissism. Another type of parenting is permissive parenting. When your child is spoiled and gets away with tantrums, it creates bratty behavior and the lack of parenting gives the child entitlement and power at a young age. A child who is very spoiled or a child who is idolized by their parent creates a pattern that requires a child to suppress their emotions and self-expression just to keep the standards of their parents for their love and validation. Narcissists often are not prepared for adulthood, which is the cause of their unrealistic view of life. What's the neuroscience aspect? See, disorders like night terrors and schizophrenia has a lot more neural research to it. The scary thing about narcissism is that it's such a normal personality disorder, anyone can have it. It is not when you're hallucinating or anything like that. It's simply a behavioral thing which is why in neurology, neuroscience is used to measure and conduct research to get more information on narcissism. In neuroscience studies, the main goal is to measure the interpersonal functions and the neurophysiological reactions an individual has when they are exposed to certain things such as ego, threats, achievement failures, or even social exclusion. When a person has a stronger induce on stress responses towards these things, they have higher levels of narcissism. Neuroscience helped gain the understanding of mechanisms that are exposed to interpersonal functioning in narcissism. Researchers use many scans for the brain to conduct research on NPD individuals, but the most common is the fMIR scan. This scan is used to identify several regions of the brain associated with empathy. We all understand the front of our brain regulates our thinking and reasoning abilities. But on the lower sides of our brain, those are our temporal lobes, where they control our emotional aspects such as fear and anger. In a recent study, researchers scanned 34 brains with 17 individuals having NPD. The people who suffer from NPD was found to have less gray matter in the cerebral cortex, specifically the left anterior insula. The left insula region is in charge of the emotions such as compassion and empathy. This study shows the lack of cognitive function that a person with narcissistic personality disorder has. That's everything I have to say for narcissistic personality disorder.